Alexander Scranton, Director of Science and Research for Women's Voices for the Earth. In this segment, we'll talk about the chemicals found in cleaning products and how they could affect you and your family. In our report, Household Hazards, we looked at the material safety data sheets provided by manufacturers for hundreds of products. These data sheets, called MSDSs, are required if certain hazardous chemicals are present in a product. We looked specifically at five different types of toxic chemicals. The first two chemicals, monoethanolamine and ammonium quaternary compounds, are linked to asthma. Monoethanolamine is a surfactant found in laundry detergents, all-purpose cleaners, and many floor cleaners. Ammonium quaternary compounds are disinfectants, found in disinfectant sprays, toilet cleaners, and some fabric softeners. Both chemicals have been determined to cause occupational asthma in cleaning workers. While we don't know what the effect might be on people cleaning their own houses, we are concerned about the possible impact, particularly to children or if you have asthma or other breathing problems. The other three chemicals, phthalates, glycol ethers, and alkyl phenyl ethoxylates, or APEs, are linked to reproductive harm. Phthalates are chemicals found in fragrances and are used in floor polish and window cleaners. Exposure to phthalates has been linked to lowered sperm counts and developmental problems in baby boys. Glycol ethers are solvents found in glass cleaners and all-purpose sprays. In laboratory tests, glycol ethers like 2-butoxyethanol were associated with reduced fertility and low birth weight in mice. Alkyl phenol ethoxylates, or APEs, are surfactants found in laundry detergents, stain removers, and all-purpose cleaners. Once APEs go down the drain, they're carried through the sewer and end up in rivers and streams. Baby fish born in those contaminated streams have a much harder time surviving. If baby fish and mice are affected, how might this exposure affect your fertility or your children's development? This is a question we don't fully know the answer to yet. The research on household exposure simply hasn't been done, but many scientists now believe that chemical exposure, even at very low levels, can have adverse impacts on the reproductive system. The tough part for us as consumers is how to tell if our cleaners have any of these chemicals. The only sure way to know what's in your cleaners is to make them yourself, out of ingredients like baking soda and vinegar. So let's get started and have some fun.